Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong opposition to 2155. This bill will roll back many consumer protections, including protections that are critical for civil rights. This bill will permit 85% of depository institutions to avoid public reporting on their mortgage lending activities. And this reporting is absolutely critical to identifying discrimination against black Americans, Latinos, and other minority groups. Thanks to the public reporting requirement, we know that redlining still exists in 61 metropolitan areas across our country, and that black folks and Latinos are more than twice as likely as whites to be denied mortgage credit. It is an unacceptable reality, but it's a reality that we have to see and acknowledge. The idea that we have to see policies that help us identify these problems when we have the facts right in front of us is simply unthinkable. I do want to make it clear that I have great sympathy for smaller banking institutions, including credit unions. I'm a proud credit union member and our community banks that have called for regulatory relief. But let's be clear that when we do that relief, Congress should be using a scalpel to create a fix for smaller banks, not taking a sledgehammer to the entire system that we set up to protect consumers and Main Street small businesses from the greed of big banks. I urge my colleagues to vote no.